Hi everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. We have the square root of five, square root of five, square root of five equals one hundred and twenty five to the power of x. And we are looking for the value of x. Here is what we are going to do. The first thing we are going to do is to remove the first square root, right? And to do that, we are going to have square root of 5, square root of 5, square root of 5, all squared. Then on the other hand, I'll have 125 to the power of x, all squared. This will take this away. Now we now have 5, square root of 5, square root of 5. And this will be equal to 125 to the power of 2x. Since we can always multiply the two powers. Then from here again, we have other roots here to let go. So we are going to square this. Then we'll equally square what we have there. Now this square works with this 5 and what we have here. So it's going to be 5 squared. Okay, write 5 squared. Right. Then multiply by this can now cut this so we have 5 root 5 and this will be equal to 125 to the power of 4x 2x times 2 okay so from here 5 squared times 5 that will be 5 to the power of 3 then we have root 5 this will now be equal to 125 to the power of 4x. Now I still want to remove this. Okay, so I want to remove this power um, root. So I will square this again, then put this together and squared. So that's 5 to the power of 3 times 2. That will give us 5 to the power of 5. Remember, we are not, um, okay, it's supposed to be to be 6. We are not adding the powers, right? We multiply the powers. So, 5 to the power of 2. Okay, so 3 times 2, that will give this 6. Then this can now clear this. So we have to multiply by 5. Then on the other hand, we have 125 to the power of 8x. Then from here, this has power of 1. So we don't multiply the two powers. Pick one of the bases. Then we have 6 plus 1. That will give 7. But in this case, we are not adding like we did here. Because both of them are powers and they are separated by this bracket so we multiply the two of them so that's how i got this six and this will be equal to 125 to the power of 8x okay but then what should we do from here let's equate the basis this is 125 it is 5 to the power of 3 so I will have 5 to the power of 7 equals 5 to the power of 3 then to the power of 8x and like I said before we always multiply the powers so we have 5 to the power of 7 being equal to 5 to the power of 24x now the bases are the same we can now equate the powers. 
so our 24x is equal to 7 and meaning that x is 7 over 24 so this is the value of x that we we are having but then you might not apply this method okay let's try another quicker method okay to solve this problem okay the second method this 5 here is under 1 square root sign so we write 5 to the power of 1 over 2 the second 5 is under 2 square root signs so that will be 5 to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 that will give 1 over 4 because it's under 2 square root sign then the other one we have 5 to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 because it's under 3 square root signs that will be 1 over 8 then we have 125 to the power of x now 1 the base is here are the same 1 to 3 so we're going to pick one of them we add the powers 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 equals 125 to the power of x now what should we do from here add the powers so we have 5 the LCM of the powers will be 8 then 8 divided by 2 is 4 times 1 is 4 plus 8 divided by 4 is 2 times 1 is 2 plus 8 divided by 1 8 divided by 8 is 1 times 1 is 1 so this is equal to 125 to the power of x so from here now we have 5 to the power of 7 over 8 then this as well we can express 125 in the base of 5 so 125 is 5 to the power of 3 then there is an x outside as the power 2 so 5 to the power of 7 over 8 will now be 5 to the power of 3x remember our target was to get the same base now we equate the powers so our 3x is now 7 divided by 8 then we cross multiply or we divide both sides by 3 then divide this by 3 you know 3 is 3 over 1 so this can go with that now our x will be 7 over 8 multiply by 1 over 3 so at the end of the day our x will be equal to 7 times 1 is 7 8 times 3 is 24 so this is the value of x and that is what we got before using the first method thank you for watching